Turkish airstrikes in the Kurdish-held Afrin region of northern Syria have reportedly killed seven civilians. These are the latest pictures from the ground showing the aftermath of the attack. It is feared the airstrikes may have claimed even more lives with people trapped under the rubble. Witnesses claim the Turkish aerial bombardments are targeting residential areas. There are no military zones here. All of them are civilian areas. The civilians were asleep. There was nothing. But they bombed us, even though there are no soldiers here. We are all civilians. The shell fell about 25 meters away. Shrapnel ended up in my hand. I wanted to know why they were shelling civilians. Turkey is conducting what it describes as an anti-terror operation in Afrin. The offensive is supported by several anti-Syrian government groups. The areas they hold are here marked in green. But the Turkish leader has vowed to expand the operation. We are going to continue the Olive French operation until we achieve our goals. And then, as promised, we will clear Manbij of terrorists. After that, we will continue our struggle up to the Iraqi border until no terrorists are left. President Erdogan says Turkey will push onwards to the city of Manbij and then further to the east towards the Iraqi border. Such a move could potentially threaten U.S. personnel who are stationed in this area. They've been assisting the local Kurds in their anti-ISIL operation, with a Pentagon official uh, recently announcing the creation of a 30,000-strong border security force in the region. Well, this was to be comprised largely of Kurds, something that infuriated Ankara. U.S. Secretary of State Rex Tillerson has since backtracked on that idea, saying officials misspoke. Anti-war activist Richard Becker says that the U.S. is caught between two allies. We have what appears to be a somewhat intractable contradiction between the U.S. interest in Syria and the U.S. interest in NATO. And so this is something that they're trying to find a way out of, but it's very difficult, given the fact that uh, it was the United States, along with Turkey, Saudi Arabia, France, Britain, which caused the destabilization of Syria and led to the present circumstances. And the United States, on the other hand, is tied in with the YPG forces inside Syria, who have been the main fighting forces that the U.S. has been allied with in the battle against ISIS. But more than that, uh, to maintain a U.S. presence inside Syria, which the U.S. military has been declaring is there for indefinitely.